In the last 24 years, the Nifty 50 has grown by 11.72% per annum. This basically means your money would have doubled every 6 years. And an investment of 1 lakh rupee would be more than 14 lakh rupees today. But this massive wealth creation also came with periods of high stress. We have seen markets fall almost 40% after the COVID-19 outbreak in 2020 and the global financial crisis in 2008. But what if we tell you that there are funds that have the potential to deliver similar returns without giving you sleepless nights during the difficult market phases? Well, welcome to the world of Balance Advantage Funds or BAFs. Today, we will tell you the best funds in the category. Now, we have divided the video in three sections. First, we will look at how Balance Advantage Funds invest and then we will analyze all the funds from this category and shortlist the top performers. Finally, we will examine the investment strategies of the top performing funds. By the end of this video, you will have enough information to pick the best fund that suits your requirements. Now, this video will uncover many interesting insights. So, we recommend you watch it till the end. Okay, let's start by understanding the investment strategies followed by Balance Advantage Funds or BAFs. Balance Advantage Funds are also known as Dynamic Asset Allocation Funds. That's because they constantly change their asset allocation. For example, they can go from 30% in equity all the way up to 80% based on market conditions. Let's understand this by looking at the ICICI Balance Advantage Fund. Now, we are considering this fund because it's one of the biggest and oldest fund in the category. Now, this fund uses the price to book ratio of Sensex to decide how much it should allocate to equity. If the price to book ratio is high, the fund reduces its equity exposure. And if the valuation falls, it increases the equity exposure. Now, by following this strategy, it tends to buy low and sell high. To understand this better, let's look at the fund's allocation around the COVID-19 outbreak. After the COVID-19 crash, when the Sensex fell below 30,000, this fund had an equity exposure of more than 70%. Three months before this, the scheme's net equity exposure was below 50%. Now, after the COVID-19 crash, markets recovered. So the fund started reducing the equity exposure. And by December 2020, its net equity exposure was again below 50%. So by following a simple price to book strategy, the fund could buy when the markets crashed and sell when they recovered. Now, each balanced advantage fund follows a different strategy, which it uses to decide the asset allocation in the portfolio. We will discuss different BAF models in a bit, but before that, we want to discuss another benefit of investing in these funds, and that is their taxation. Now, these funds invest in three asset classes, equity, debt, and arbitrage. Whenever a fund house uses futures and options to hedge a portion of its equity, it is referred to as arbitrage. This investment in FNO also gets equity-like treatment. But because it is hedged, it generates debt-like instruments. This is why balanced advantage funds use arbitrage. They can get the tax treatment of equity funds while the returns are similar to those of a debt fund. So at all times, the equity and arbitrage allocation combined is at least 65%. For example, if the fund house doesn't have a positive view on equity, it can invest 30% in equities, another 35% in arbitrage and the remaining 35% in debt. Okay, so now that we've examined how BAFs work, let's analyze the performance of funds from this category. To find which funds have performed consistently, we analyze the funds using a three-step process. Let me take you through the analysis step by step. First, we shortlist each funds with an AUM of more than 1000 crores and at least 5 years of history. The AUM criteria helps to filter out smaller funds and we need at least 5 years of history to evaluate performance. 16 funds qualify for these two criteria. Now in the second step, we took these 16 funds and examined their risk-adjusted returns. The way we calculated risk-adjusted return is a bit technical. So we divided the three-year rolling returns by their standard deviation. But you can ignore the technical bit. We did this exercise to compare the performance of these funds to Nifty 50. So whichever fund failed to perform better than the index, we filtered it out. So we got a list of 13 funds and the top five schemes were from Edelweiss, Tata, Badoda, BNP Paribas, HSBC and DSP. We excluded funds from Motilal Osfal, HDFC and Franklin India. I want to clarify one thing here. Risk-adjusted returns look at the returns that a scheme generated for the risk it took. For example, Edelweiss Balanced Advantage Fund has the best risk-adjusted returns in the group. It generated a 9.73% return for every unit of risk. Nifty 50, on the other hand, had a risk-adjusted return of only 4.49%. But the average rolling returns of Edelweiss BAF was 16.13%. 
Nifty 50 had a slightly better rolling returns of 18.14%. Now the risk adjusted returns are higher only because this fund has had the much lower volatility than Nifty 50. There is another observation that we would like to highlight from this piece of data. HDFC Balance Advantage Fund, the largest scheme in the category, was one of the three funds excluded from our analysis. Now this scheme's average rolling returns are higher than those of Nifty 50, but so its volatility. In the final step, we look at returns. From this, we looked at how investments in these funds would have performed over the last five years. We looked at both SIP and lump sum returns and shortlisted the funds that were in the top five according to both methods. The four funds that cleared the filters were Baroda BNP Paribas Balance Advantage Fund, Edelweiss Balance Advantage Fund, Tata Balance Advantage Fund, and ICIC Potential Balance Advantage Fund. Here, we would like to draw your attention to the returns of these schemes. Some have better SIP and lump sum returns than Nifty 50, and others are in line with its performance. So, if you invest in Nifty 50 index funds, you can consider these funds as an alternative to investing in the index, or you can use them for diversification. They have generated similar returns, but with much better downside protection. Alright, let's move to the final section of the video. Here, we will look at the investment models of these four funds and see how they performed in different market phases. If we look at the investment style of these four funds, we can classify them into two categories. One is counter-cyclical and the other is pro-cyclical. In the counter-cyclical model, the fund houses reduce equity allocation when valuations are expensive. This is simple to understand. When valuations are high, they reduce exposure to direct equity and would increase allocation to debt and arbitrage. In the pro-cyclical strategy, the fund house moves with the market cycle. If the market is rallying, the fund house invests more in equity. And if the market is correcting, the fund houses reduce equity allocation. Now, funds from ICICI Tata and Baroda BNP Paribas belong to the counter-cyclical category. Edelweiss Balance Advantage Fund is the only fund that belongs to the pro-cyclical category. Now, we have simplified the way this fund decide on asset allocation. In reality, it's slightly more nuanced. So, we encourage you to read the model in detail. You can check the fund's presentation on the AMC's website. I have also attached links to their presentations in the description box below. Now, at the beginning of the video, we said that Balance Advantage funds fall less than the market. Let's look at the data if this is true. We will also look at how well the funds capture the upside when markets are doing good. For this, we look at the periods when Nifty 50 rallied by 10% or fell by 10%. Now, since 2019, there have been 11 periods when the Nifty 50 rose more than 10%. Next, we map the performance of these four funds during those periods. To simplify things, we measure the returns of these funds as a percentage of returns of Nifty 50. For this, we divided the scheme's returns by the returns of Nifty 50 in the respective period. Now, this will help us understand what percentage of the market upside these funds were able to capture. For example, between November 2022 and December 2023, Edelweiss generated 13.85% returns. During the same period, Nifty 50 generated 10.28% returns. So, if Nifty 50 returned 100%, the fund returns were 135%. Now, we did this for all funds and all the time periods. Next, let's calculate the average upside for these four funds. Baroda BNP Paribas Balance Advantage Fund has the best upside capture rate of 80% and the lowest upside capture rate out of the group is of Tata Balance Advantage Fund. Now, we did the same exercise to check how well these funds can control their downside. So, if Nifty 50 corrected 100%, how much these funds fell? Now, since 2019, there have been five instances when Nifty 50 corrected by more than 10%. Edelweiss Balance Advantage Fund has the best downside participation ratio of 35%. So, when Nifty 50 corrected by 100%, this fund fell by only 35% on average. Even the riskiest fund of the group has a downside protection participation of 49%. So, it falls half as aggressively as Nifty 50. So, if we look at all this data and compare the returns with Nifty 50, they surely appear to be a better option. Their returns are in line with Nifty 50, but their volatility is much lower. So, without compromising on returns, they can help reduce the overall volatility of a portfolio. And if you are new to equity investing, then this fund should be a good place to start. They will give you a taste of equity investment while protecting you from the wild swings. And with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please don't forget to share it with your friends and family. I'll see you soon with another video. Till then, take care. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.